Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin from Charlotte, North Carolina, along with my friend Freddy the Teddy. Today is Friday the 13th of January 2023. Oh, and this is your card of the day. All right, so today we're going to take a bit of a side step. I am using, because it's Friday the 13th, I might continue, I don't know, a deck here by um, Alberto Villaldo with and Colette Baron reed a joint effort, and it's called the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Uh, these uh, illustrations are by Jenna Della Goro Taglia. I don't know these people, but I like to give them credit. Now, I've taken a few courses with Colette Baron Reed, and I've got a couple of her decks. Um, this deck was gifted to me by another psychic, one of my teachers, who um, I don't know, she just was drawn to them. Now, the backs of these cards remind me of um, a Versace design, very rich, very opulent, and I was um, grateful to get them. So without further ado, I'm going to shuffle and I'm going to pull a card and then I'll explain to you a little bit about the difference between the oracles and then the, the tarot and angels, etc. So great mother and the earth great father in the sky ascended masters all those of the light or dreamers or shamans all masters of divination i set the intention that whatever is gained and learned from these tools be for the highest inspiration the highest love the highest truth and the best clarity for all concerned so be it and so shall it be Right, and pull it straight from the top. So the unmarked trail, and here we see basically a mirror image, a set of stones, which this reminds me of a, of a Zen image. Um, the five and the seven, 57, adds up to a 12, and the 12 goes down into the number three. Now, um, in numerology, the number three basically is saying that you're on the road to growth, on the road to expansion, and the path is unfolding in perfect timing. This all might sound very familiar. We've talked about lots of transformation, uh, lots of releasing and letting go of certain things, and then trust. And to me, today's energy is all about taking the road less traveled, um, getting revelations from the unknown or the, the, the uh, feelings that you get today. Um, the number 13, div, like Friday the 13th, so that number 13 reduces to a four and uh, when you've got a four number that shows up in anything, if you're seeing four on the clock, if you're seeing four in a date, anything of that nature, then that is basically your teacher. It's about truth and letting the truth that you discover and what you find on this unmarked trail, use them to teach you things. Trust in what you're getting. Trust in the information, the gut feelings, the intuition that you're feeling, and then let the joy of this discovery be your guide forward. So today is about revelations. Now, I said um, I would um, explain, let's see, back over the video. I said I would explain a little bit of difference between for those who kind of still a bit confused, because I was when I sort of started this card reading journey, really just three years ago. Up to that point, I was an intuitive medium that really spoke to spirits. I would feel the spirit. I would smell them. I could 
get images in my mind. I sometimes could see them. I sometimes saw the spirits of ascended folks, what they were doing, how they were doing it. I might smell food. I might smell cigarettes. I might see somebody wearing a hat. I never got too much into names. When I started into the card reading, it was one of these follow the unmarked trail, the trail that was calling my name, that was asking me to step forward into something different. And I went for it. I said, well, okay, let's try it. There is a fear. There's always that imposter syndrome. There's always that feeling that I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing here. And the more I studied with folks like Radley Valentine, um, Kyle Gray, uh, Denise Lynn, Colette Baron reed um, many of them on Hay House online and a few courses personally with them and joining their various groups. What I discovered is all of them, if they were truly authentic, had the imposter syndrome feeling as they were growing and meandering through the um, courses or through learning something new. Now, what I want to say about um, oracles and tarot, it's a bit like music. There is sheet music and there's a structure to music. There's staccato and then there's I, I'm using these as euphemisms to get you to understand it. There's the written um, expression of the music, you know, when you add an emphasis, when you quiet it down, all these kind of things. Then there is no sheet music and someone hears the tune in their head and they're writing the music as they go along. It's a bit like automatic writing. Divination is your connection to the divine your connection to the source of everything that there is, everything that creates it. What I like about the Shaman's Dream deck is it is poking the part of us that needs to see it and work it into reality. So the Oracle decks are a bit like dancing. You've got a beat, you have a a little bit of uh, a feeling, you've got an energy and you just roll with it. Imagine you're in the kitchen and you have these ingredients and you really don't know what you're going to create. You really don't know what is going to come up out of that. And you just begin to chop and you begin to, you know, put water together and then you add something to the water. Before you know it, you're creating a dish. You're creating not so much a recipe because that's like tarot. You're following a recipe. There is no end and no limit to what the divine and what the pathway of divination can show us. It is all and everything. So what I have learned myself and what I'll share with you is some tools become really second nature and they become simple to use. A pencil, a pen, a uh, piece of chalk, um, artist brush, uh, watercolors, oils, all that sort of stuff. And then you have to get to the point where you push those boundaries. There are some who are really s s entrenched in tarot, the setup of it, and others who want more of a free flowing message that comes from it. Um, in the divination world, there are the angels, there are the ascended masters. Then there are our own ascended relatives, our own ascended ones who are around us. Um, and I think I'm going on into a divination class, but I'm just passing on what I've learned and basically saying I just did it, went for it. And this is the, the nature of my reading, my interpretation of what the spirits are coming through to say follow the unmarked trail. Allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to go off into the fantasy world because otherwise life becomes quite limited to only the physical, what we see, what we hear, what we know, what we've done, where we've been and where we think we should be going, not where the unmarked trail would like for us to go. Listen to your whispers. 
Look for things that are different. Maybe take a different journey to work or home. Maybe do something else like don't work so late today. Choose a different channel. If you're watching TV, switch off the devices. Get into the connection that you have with all that is not actually physical. I'm hoping that makes sense. I love you all. Your support your subscriptions. I got a report yesterday from YouTube. We're up to 187. I said I want to be at 200 at year 2023. It's fine. I'll probably be at 2000 by the summer. Who? And that is my own ego saying I'm not good enough because I don't have as many subscribers, which is absolute horse pucky. <laughs> I love you. Until tomorrow. Bye.